Hi everybody, Angel here with ConfidencesCatchy.com. Thanks for tuning in. Happy Friday. And I am so excited to be bringing you this live stream because, you know, I just realized what time it is and it's like 549 and um, I'm usually going to do these around 3.30, you know, 4.30 at the latest and I look up from my computer and I'm like, oh my God, it's 449. But that's perfect because today's topic is all about trusting in action. We talked yesterday on our uh, video blog about how trust, uh, you have to kind of trust that the universe has brought you through whatever they brought it brought you through to get to this point. And that means that the experiences that you've had and the work that you've done on yourself and the crap that life has given you has basically brought you to this moment for you to be able to take take it to the next step, right? To take your gifts out into the world in some way. and uh, and And how do you do that? right? How do you get from inside your head to the outside world? Well, um, <laughs> it requires failure. So today we're going to talk about failure. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Angel Johnstone. I'm the owner of confidenceiscatchy.com, a website where we put together information on uh, confidence and try to bring it to you through various uh, social media and in fact, uh, this morning, early this morning, or maybe it was late last night, I lose track, um, I added a whole bunch of our social media links on there in an easy format and a opportunity to just click on and join and subscribe our YouTube channel. Uh, so if you haven't gone to confidenceiscatchy.com in a while, uh, go ahead and check those all out. Make sure you're all linked to us so you don't miss any notifications. And uh, for those of you that have been around a while, you definitely don't want to miss what's coming up in the next couple of weeks. I have some great guest speakers lined up. Uh, as as we move into the few weeks before the uh, April 29th workshop. So lots of stuff going on. Uh, now, back to the idea of failure. Now, we talked yesterday about the baseball analogy, right? You cannot score a home run. No matter how good you hit that ball out of the park, you cannot score a home run until you run all the bases. And we talked about the universe bringing you to this moment in your life in order to expand upon the gifts that you have and the experience that you have and that nothing is an accident. Okay. So today we're going to talk about, okay, so if nothing's an accident and you've been brought to this moment for a reason, what do you do now? How, what does running the bases in this analogy look like? And it looks like action. Now you can idly walk down the bases, right? I mean, you could just kind of amble your way from first base to second, second to third, and third to home, but that's just not nearly as much fun as, you know, a walk-off homer <laughs> in the in, at the 11th hour, right, at the end of the game to win it all. Um, you're going to run those bases, or at least jog them, and um, what does that look like? It looks like action. It looks like movement. It looks like you're doing something, and that's exactly why I was laughing when I was like, oh my god, it's 449. I got to do my live stream because I was so engaged in the action of what I'm doing that I kind of completely lost track of what time it was. Um, I have been sending emails all afternoon and um, most of them are going to come back to me. I'm probably, you know, probably all but maybe one of the probably 10 or 15 emails I sent today are going to come back to me um, as no's. They're going to be failures. I am going to strike out and that's okay. It's totally fine. I'm sending emails to business people that I know, people that I probably should have sent these emails to a while ago and saying, hey, I've got sponsorships available for my conference at the end of the month. Is it something you'd be interested in? Most of them are probably going to say no. And that's okay. It's fine. Because somewhere in there is the right person that that's the right opportunity for them. And by asking, by sending it out there, by doing the activity, by getting engaged in what I need to be doing, I'm going to find that right person. So what's the right thing that you should be doing? What's the activity that you should be doing that looks like running the bases for you? Maybe you're trying to go back to school and you need to get loans and you need to get you know, financing and you need to figure out how you're going to do all of that. Maybe you need to make some phone calls, right? Maybe you need to send some emails. Maybe you're trying to get a business off the ground. And you're not quite sure what you're doing. Maybe you need to reach out to people that do know what they're doing. Maybe you're just trying to get your life organized. Maybe you're coming off of a divorce or a bankruptcy or a foreclosure or some other kind of financial or, or personal disaster and you just don't know how to pick up the pieces and you need to reach out to people that can help you with that. We tend to procrastinate 
That would be me. I do this. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm talking to myself right now. We tend to procrastinate. We wait till the last minute. Um, we put things off. We get overwhelmed. We don't follow through. And, uh, and, and, and that's what kind of holds us back. The activity is what you need to do to run the bases. So in order to score that home run, you have to be hitting the ball. In fact, you actually have to be missing the ball a lot more than you're hitting the ball. So in this particular scenario, if you've got something on your plate that you're just not doing, get active, find the time, figure out a way to do it, you know, block everything else out, you know, find, find a way to put the time in that you know you need to put in, stop procrastinating, get your taxes done, whatever it is that this week brings, do it. Because when you get over the procrastination, you get over the overwhelm, and you get into action, that's where you start feeling better. That's where the confidence comes from. That's where you're going to get a lot of no's, but you're supposed to. So just expect it. You're going to get pushback. You're going to get, eh, you're not going to feel all the time like everything you're doing is successful. That means you're onto something. If everything was that easy, wouldn't everybody else be doing it, right? If success was that easy, wouldn't we all be there already? It takes some action, it takes some work, and it takes us getting off our tuchus and doing it. So I hope that today that will inspire you to do some stuff over the weekend, even if that's just clean out your house on this beautiful weekend. If you're in New England, today was like the first day of spring. It was really nice. Uh, so, you know, whatever it is that you need to do, um, spring has sprung Get out there, do something, anything. Get active, get movement, and uh, take care of yourself by doing that. So tomorrow we'll talk a little bit more about trusting not only in that action and trusting that the nose and the, and the pushback is part of the process, but also having the courage to keep going while you trust. So we're going to mix those two up tomorrow. And uh, just check back with me tomorrow as we have some more stuff to talk about as we build confidence together. Thanks for coming on board. Likes, share, comments. Talk to you soon. Bye.